Hi everyone, today we will study about rotations. I will do a demo and I will ask all of you a question. Please guess the answer before you continue. Hi guys, you can see here there is a dumbbell and I have wrapped a rope around it. So the question I have for all of you is if I keep this dumbbell at rest right now and then I pull this string, you can see the way it is wrapped. If I pull this rope towards me, towards me means this side, will it roll towards me or will it roll away from me? So please make a guess. I'm sure you all made a guess regarding the answer of the question. But to know which is right or wrong, let us first learn one concept in rotation. You all have played with seesaw in your childhood days and you can play even now. And imagine this is the pivot. This is the point about which the board can rotate. Now if you apply a force this side, by sitting here, your gravitational force will make the board rotate this way. I hope all of you agree to that. So if you sit here, your force of gravity will rotate the board this way. That is your clockwise rotation. What about if you sit here? If you sit here, then your force of gravity will create a rotation this way. So how to find the direction of rotation? It's quite simple. About this point, we want the body to rotate. So if the force is acting here, then the rotation will be this way. So this is the point. The force is acting here, so it will be this way, clockwise. And if this is the point and the force is acting here, it will be this way, which is anti-clockwise. What if the force is acting right at the pivot? Meaning, what if you sit here? Will the seesaw rotate? Obviously, no, right? So keep these three things in your mind. Let's now apply this to the demo which we did. So in the demo which we did, we had a dumbbell, something like this, and we tied some thread over it and it was pulled. From side, if you see, from side, I can represent the same thing as this. And this is the thread. Right, so from this side, if you see, you will see something like this. From here, if you see. Okay, so now, let us see the various forces which may be acting on the dumbbell, how those forces are trying to rotate the dumbbell about this point. Because I know if there is rotation this way, up this way, then I know it will go. I was pulling it this way, right? So if, if the rotation of the dumbbell is this way due to the forces, then I know the dumbbell will come towards me. If the rotation is this way, about this point then the dumbbell will go away from me right so let's observe how the various forces are trying to rotate the dumbbell about this point so the first force is the gravitational force which always acts through the center of mass so you can see the force of gravity is passing through this point similar to this one and therefore the force of gravity will not be able to rotate the dumbbell about this point. What about the force from the floor? Why there is force from the floor? Because if you are pushing the floor, the floor will push you back. That's Newton's third law. So even that force will be passing through the center. And therefore, even the force from the surface is passing through this point, which means again, this force is similar to this one. So it will not rotate the dumbbell about this point. The third force which is left is the frictional force. Now if there is any friction that will act parallel to the surface, either here or here, whichever way it may be, whichever way it may be, it is passing through again this point. Therefore, even these forces are similar to this. Now the only force which is left is this force the force which I apply by pulling the rope. Now this force, if you extend the line, you can see it is not passing through this point, right? Now, let's go back to this case. If you want the body to rotate about this point, 
and your force is here the rotation will be this way. and if the force is here the rotation will be this way. we want the dumbbell to rotate about this point the force is acting this side right let me try to show you this way so i want the body to rotate about this point and the force is acting this way so you can see this force will rotate the body this way just like here right i want the rod to rotate about this point if i apply force this way it will rotate the body this way so similarly about this point my force will rotate the body this way and therefore this whole thing will rotate this way about this point which means it will come towards me in which way it will roll i'm going to pull it towards me so you can see it rolls towards me as physics says